Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about HTML images. There are two ways of adding images to your websites. The first way is through HTML elements and the second way is through CSS backgrounds. In this lecture we're going to cover HTML elements, images. So you're going to you're going to end up with whenever you want to add an image you need to provide the source path for that image. So the source in first case it could be local within your own computer or it could be online. So I'm going to show you both ways. Now when it is local it could be in the same directory like this qual image. So this HTML images uh, file and this quala image jpg file they're both in the same directory. This is called same directory. We do have another directory which is same image, uh, some image which is doc, and that is going to be still. This is local, but it is in a different directory. These are going to be different in terms of like providing the source to them. So to be able to uh, create an image element, you just write image. Image element is a self-closing tag. It doesn't have any ending tag. It by default it has two attributes. The first attribute is the source where the image is located or stored online or local. And the second one is alt. The alt attribute specifies a text, the kind of text that if your image for some reason does not show on the website, that text will be shown instead of your image. So let's say where the source is. First, we're going to talk about same directory. Now, if it is in the same directory, just write the name of the image and you can see that IntelliSense pops it up for you. And in the alt, I'm going to say Koala. When you save it, this is the image. So by default, I'm going to zoom out, reset. So by default, the images are going to be shown in their original size. So this is the original size of this image. The bigger the, bigger the image, the bigger uh, area it is going to cover. So that is the size. This is how you can add. Now, how does this alt text is going to show? Let's say you misspell the source. Let's say you say qual, right? This is for some reason your image doesn't show. And when you save it, you can see that that text quala is now showing there. I'm going to go back and I'm going to save it. I'm going to close. I'm going to uh, comment that one out. Uh, let's come down here. So this is a different directory. Now, if it is in the different directory, first you write the name of the directory, some image, then you do forward slash. And when you do forward slash, all the content within that directory will be shown in the HTML. So forward slash, we just have one image there, the dog, and I'm going to say dog. Let's save that. And this is different directory. Perfect. So right after this, I want to show you I can add images from an online source. So image within the source, you have to provide the address for that image the address or the URL for that image. So uh, this image is from this URL and I'm just going to provide the alt as rabbit. If you save it and if you take a look at it, because this is coming from another website, it is going to take like a few seconds to load. If you just right click and go to inspect, you're going to see that this image is coming from this URL. Source is this. And if you grab the source, copy it, come in here, pay, uh, paste it, hit enter. Okay, it didn't go because I mistyped it. There, uh, you just have to grab the source, not the quotes. Just copy that, provide it there, hit enter. You're gonna go to that image and you can see it belongs to Pixabay, All right? So with this, our lecture and our chapter comes to an end. See you in the next one.